Hello everybody, it is Jeff again, and I am back, and actually I'm going to do some building here, some very small building, but what I am going to do is what I talked about in the last video, and I'm going to make a house where, uh, based on Doc M's design, just to try to get this village, like, repopulated again um, and see how well it works because my curiosity has been piqued. Oh, I can't go that way. Um, to find out about this infinite spawning ordeal with uh, with these villagers. So we're going to see how this thing actually works. And while I do that, um, I have some interesting um, concept I want to talk to you guys about. Um, not my concept. Like, I, I own uh, multiple, actually, Xboxes, the original Xboxes, and I will. Oh man, how do I get over there? How did I get there? There we go. I didn't realize it was on this side for some reason. I don't know why I forgot that. Um, I own a, uh, multiple original Xboxes, and I own those because I well I had one back in the day when Xbox originally came out, and I used to you know love the thing, play video games with it. I'm also a computer guy. I'm a oops. I am a very big, um, I guess tinkerer would more be the word, um, uh, I would call it hacker in a way, but I don't really do hacking, like, I don't, I don't, um, make up exploits and things like that, I just utilize exploits other people have, and, oh, no, I forgot my, oh, I guess it's okay, I wanted to make it out of this stuff anyway, um, I utilize other people's exploits other people find, um, I do it for a few reasons, not, not so much. I mean, I originally, when I started doing, like, crazy, quote-unquote, hacking and things like that, it was, when I was in high school, I had an original PlayStation and found out that you could, you know, oops, have mods and stuff on there that allowed you to play copied games, and yes, I, you know, did did some things that were not quite legal back in, in my younger days of getting into, the, like, the computers and things like that, but my, my passion for that stuff has changed from a... From doing it from a you know manipulative standpoint of you know doing quote unquote illegal things to more for the challenge of it to see like when the Xbox came out and there was the ability to add mod chips and and things like that I did it more for the purpose of I thought it was so intriguing and entertaining that the system that you could put on these um, these mods and things like that that would allow you to get a whole different dashboard system in there. You could copy all the games to the hard drives and things like that. And it was just, it was more intriguing to me than anything else uh, as opposed to a complete, you know, lack of desire to abide by the law. Um, I know that sounds really bad to say, but I mean, but I'm just explaining how it, how it really was, how I got intrigued in my original days of of computer quote unquote hacking, and um, so I would do things like that uh, to see if it could be done. I um, I also modded my Xbox 360. I don't even think I I don't think I even copied a game for that. I just wanted to see if I could do it because that was more about taking out the the DVD drive. And oh, actually, I don't want those there, but I do want wood on the floor. Um, that was more about taking out to the DVD drive and doing some hacking on it, changing the firmware and things like that. And it was a whole different concept that was really intriguing to me that I really wanted to wanted to take advantage of and see if I could do it. So a lot of my my hacking in the in the past many years has been more for the experience and the fun of just being a a tinkerer and just a, a computer you know, it's my the computer engineer in me, the I got into computer engineering for a reason, and it was because I enjoyed doing things like that. Uh, I did the hardware design for a while at one of the firms I worked at, as well as software design. So just anything like that is very, very fun to me to take part of. But I now own multiple original Xbox consoles, and it is solely actually for the purpose of... I think this will be big enough. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Yeah, I think that's what we wanted to do was six wide. That was actually a coincidence. I wasn't really counting and paying attention, and uh, it just happened to work out exactly with the number that I wanted it to. But back to, to what I was saying, and I own them for the purpose of once I realized that there was the media player option, I was 
very intrigued. XBMC running on my Xboxes has been the best streaming system I've ever owned. I mean, I watch videos and stuff on my computer all the time, and the ability to take those videos and then watch them in uh, on my TV instead. And this was back, you know, before you know the before I had equipment that was capable of like just doing like connecting an HDMI cable from my computer straight to the TV and things like that. I did have a special video card I had bought at this time that allowed you to you know, hook up a VGA cable or an RCA cable with the uh, with just the video output. And it, it was always like a really choppy, not good looking image and things like that. But let me get some lights in here for my little villager that will live here. There we go. Um, I guess I should bring the villager in and then make my doors. I think this is all that this thing is about. Uh, but basically where I'm getting to with this is the Media Center system has been phenomenal. My Xbox, my original Xbox that I had, it actually ended up um, crashing and burning on me one day. Uh, and so I bought some more off of eBay, and they're, they're so cheap to get a hold of on eBay because who wants, who wants an Xbox? Like, who wants the original Xbox anymore? Um, um, oh, 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 I need to block you in before I get you squared away. Why did that not connect? I thought those would connect. So that'll connect. Will that? No. Hey, little fella. Whoa, 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 I didn't mean to, like, tear through that ground so much. How can I... What am I doing wrong here? Oh, I know what to do. <laughs> Easy as this. Doop, doop. There we go. I don't know if it was a visual glitch or if that was actually a glitch that would have caused a problem or not, but either way... I don't have my card on me, do I? I do not. I have to go get one. Ah pushy pushy guy Whee. Um, so anyways back to what back to what I was saying so this thing has been utilized in my as part of my personal home theater system for years um, causing problems as Xboxes just get older in general it still works I have a lot more issues with it than I used to um, I actually did on the ones I have now instead of doing a hardware mod like I originally had I did the software mods which are, don't seem to be quite as as reliable and as um, as easy to utilize as the old hardware mods. I don't know why. I don't know if it's a you know the fact that it's doing like software rendering and things like that. Oh, I forgot I got villagers under here. I forgot about that. So I should technically be safe. How do I get up there without letting you escape? Since you are at the ready, I think I can go up here. Yep, because you guys don't, for some reason, know how to utilize this ladder. So, anyways, I was doing some research today. A um, friend of mine just moved and was asking for, like, get off of the track, little fella. I want you. Not you. You're just a little guy. No, no. <sighs> Can I even get over this? I can. Oh, so I was doing some... Somebody was asking... Uh, they wanted to be able to get Netflix and stuff onto their the TV at their new house. And the place that they lived at before had a... Uh, had a... Are you on the track? You are... Uh, get in that cart. Had a, a PS3 that she used to uh, stream Netflix and things like that. There we go. Oh. God. Did I just kill you? No. So it quit shutting the door on me. You jerk. Can I get... That <laughs> little, little fucker. Um, but, so I was doing some research on 
you know, what would be the best system to, to utilize nowadays for that? Because, um, like, she has a she has a Wii, uh, things like that, and I'm pretty sure you can do the same thing with a Wii. Get out of this door. Oh, my. Okay. I have to put this house back together in a little bit. Because this is no longer a house that you guys will utilize. Why will this not turn onto the track? There we go. Okay. Just for the time being. There. And I want to slowly get up here just so I can take that off. There we go. Until I make sure that this thing is accurate and works properly. Get in there, get in there, get in there, and, well, I guess, sorry, I just got to thinking about what I was doing here instead of continuing on with my story, which is sounding relatively dry for the moment, but anyways, so I was doing some research, and I came across this amazing I need to go get more wood, so you're going to stay there for now. I came across this amazing product on Kickstarter that really has me intrigued. And uh, it is called the Aquizo Smart TV. Um, I don't know if anybody else has ever heard of this or has done any research on this. I'm really curious at your guys' inputs on this thing. It is a little device that allows you to connect... Hi. Oh, <laughs> great. Hey, thanks, buddy. You the man. Hugs. Um, that allows you to uh, connect it straight through an HDMI port into any TV. And the, the concept is that it turns any dumb TV into a smart TV that has an HDMI port. It utilizes Android. And actually, it just... It seems like an amazing thing. It allows you to stream files from your computer, stream Netflix, internet access, because it uses the whole Android thing with Wi-Fi. It's just a little teeny, teeny thing. It looks like a USB drive, and it, but it plugs into the HDMI port, and I am so intrigued by this thing. I'll put a link in the, uh, in the description so you guys can check it out, that I've become now, for the first time, a backer of a Kickstarter product, because I think it is incredible, this thing, and um, I'm really excited for when it's going to come out. Oh, I just filled up all my inventory, huh? Um, hold on. Come on. Ugh. I don't know why I actually felt the need to do that. I easily could have just come in here and started throwing my stuff away. Like that. I guess I was just making up, bring enough wood to make another workbench up there. But this thing is, it's a this great concept and I'm really I really want some people to check it out or those who have already like done some research on it or something to tell me what their thoughts were on who what is going on here I'm not ugh. kind of one of those glitches where my my key got stuck and I got really confused for a second there we go because I think this thing is going to be I think it's kind of going to be the, the future of where streaming and stuff is going to go because it's just, it, it's, I don't know, it's so intriguing to me that it, it's incredible. So it's called Equizo, like I said, for anybody who's who's heard of it or researched it or whatnot, and um, Oh, I just realized I'm not going to have good lighting in here, huh? I'm going to have to go get... I have to get some glowstone and put it in the uh, in the walls is what I'm going to have to do. Maybe even in the ceiling. Um, and make a lot more doors. <laughs> Pretty sure this is the exact concept that that Doc M had utilized in this in this system. 
Um, so yeah, check out Aquizo on Kickstarter and uh, tell me what you guys think. If you uh, any thought pro or process you guys may have on on the the use of of that as a as an alternative to like a media center type of deal, uh, because I think it's incredible and just the not even necessarily for the the fact that it does what I want it to do, which is, you know, in incredible in itself, because it's exactly like the type of product that I was, I was looking for to replace the whole Xbox system, but for the aspect that it, um, is such a novel idea that I've never really heard of people utilizing before. I mean, there's so many different, you know, um, systems out there now by like Western Digital and Sony and things like that to do the same thing but they are huge like set top boxes like Apple TV or whatnot and um you know they're basically Xbox Xbox in my term replacements because they're just a whole nother system that's up there this thing comes with not only the USB plug it comes with a controller um that has a QWERTY keyboard on it it utilizes like uh uh, gyroscopes and things like that, like the Wiimote to have a whole different experience. You can stream YouTube, you can stream Netflix, you can stream from your computer, you can play Android games, um, internet browse, like, it, it, all from this little, like, this little stick that you can carry within your pocket that also comes with 8 gigs of internal storage in itself, so you can actually take movies and things like that with you if, if you so chose to, um, and I just, um, like I said, such an incredible, oh, <laughs> I went right on this spot that I did not want to go. And I did it twice, but oh well. I can fix that later. This is not... It is my efficiency pick. Why is it not as fast as it seemed before? Oh, am I getting attacked? What am I doing? Yes, I hear you, skeleton, and yes, I feel you, skeleton, but let me make some doors, damn it. How are you missing me? I was standing in one spot. There we go. This pick really is efficient because it can be used for everything. I don't even have to scroll through my inventory. It is a weapon. It is everything I've always wanted a pick to be. I need to grow some more trees, though, because I'm running out. There we go. Let's see if these little babies can grow and give me more, more good stuff. Um, oh shoot, I just looked over. I have some emails I have to check. I will be. I'm waiting for a specific email, so I have to check it. I'll be back momentarily. <laughs> well, guys, I came back in with my glowstone with the plan of getting this thing lit up properly. I didn't realize that in the short time frame that I was sitting here that a creeper would spawn. <laughs> so I'm hoping to, uh... Oh, thank God. I'm hoping to be able to destroy him before I destroyed this whole, this whole thing. I seem to have been able to be successful at that. Um, so... And... Maybe one right here. <laughs> it's kind of cool the way these doors can form a um, the sideline just from being open instead of. Oh Jesus, that's not what I wanted at all. Um, this pick sometimes too. If it, as you can see, that little villager running around down there, he escaped. I don't have quite all the doors in there that I want yet. I will get some more doors going at some point soon. Um, I just need more trees to grow because I'm out of wood. But, I think it's time that maybe I can let a couple of these villagers out and kind of see what happens. I don't necessarily want to let them all out. But if... If these guys happen to escape, and I will steal some other ones back up once two run away, well, I guess... 
Now I guess there's two babies running around. It might take a little bit longer because... Oh no, I gotta get back up there. Because they have to grow up still, but... I do have two babies now. And this guy just chilling. I do have the village sealed. So I should be okay, and they shouldn't escape. I don't want to... I guess they can feel free to come on up here. They, uh... Oh, boy. No, because a zombie's going to come in there. Ah, oh, crap. A zombie will come in there and, uh... And destroy him. There we go. He's gone. There we go. That should be good. Should be good. It's more fall damage. So I'm gonna watch this for a little while and see what happens. But uh, so this video is basically more the intent to to build this, see how this is going to end up actually working out, and see how well this village can get repopulated, as well as I wanted to tell you guys about that uh, that Equizo Smart TV. Like I said, I will put a link in the description. I really want people to check this out, because if this is really everything that I think it's going to be, um, I'm very intrigued, and I would love it if other people who, because I just ran, I came across it by chance, and I would love if other people were in the same boat I was, and thinking of something like that, or think it's just as cool, like, to back this dude up, like, it seems, it seems like pretty sweet concept, and I wish I thought of something like it myself, and had the know-how and expertise to get something like that arranged through Kickstarter, like, this guy, incredible, um, incredible idea, I actually, I don't know about this person themselves, I don't know who this person is, Maybe they're not an incredible person. I don't know, but I'm assuming that they are. Um, good ideas, good concept. So check it out. Let me know what you guys think. I'd really like to hear some some reactions to it uh, and things like that. So otherwise, for now, I'm going to cut this video short. I'm actually about to get out of here for the weekend for a music festival. And so I don't have much more time. I had to get some other things done, but I wanted to make sure I got this working and ready to go so that you guys could have something while I was gone. So I will see you guys next time.